This is the inside of a Japanese oyster. In summer, a cream-like substance emerges from the Japanese oyster. And I've read on the internet that this substance is quite tasty. But actually, the nature of this cream is quite surprising. Today, a viewer asked us about the cream inside a Japanese oyster, prompting us to buy one and find out. It looks a bit odd, doesn't it? We commonly eat Pacific oysters, but Japanese oysters are a different species, known for being slightly larger. Japanese oysters are often eaten in the summer, as they inhabit saltier waters and have a lower risk of norovirus compared to other types. I saw a gourmet video on YouTube discussing the exceptionally delicious cream-like substance from Japanese oysters in summer. So I opened one to see for myself. Oysters are held together by an adductor muscle, so you can open the shell by slicing through the shell's edge and cutting the muscle with a knife. However, the shells are thick, making it challenging to create an opening, but I managed to do so using all the tools available. Ta-da! The inside of the oyster is densely packed with meat. Looking at the mantle, you'll notice layers of gills underneath, which the oyster uses to filter organic matter from seawater for food. For more on the detailed internal structure of oysters, please see our previous video on oyster anatomy. In this video, we will closely explore the identity of the white cream that appears when we turn over this section. Oysters reproduce at different times based on the species, but mainly during the summer when the water temperature is high. In summer, the gonads of the oyster develop, and upon reaching full sexual maturity, they actively release sperm and eggs. This is where the oyster's reproductive cells are released. So, you might have guessed by now what this cream is, right? That's correct. It is likely oyster sperm or eggs. Oysters are hermaphroditic, meaning their sex can change based on environmental conditions, and they release eggs or sperm accordingly. It's tough to tell the sex just from looking at them, so I took a sample of this cream, placed it on a glass slide, and under magnification, I observed a lot of activity. Though I could only see movement, it seems very likely that this is oyster sperm. Is it possible that this cream is something other than sperm? The oyster gonads are located here. Using a syringe to extract the contents reveals the cream-like substance. Since it comes from the gonad, it is definitely a reproductive cell. When cut with a knife, you can see it is filled with cream. It feels strange, but it's perfectly safe to eat. When I opened other oysters delivered with it, I found no cream in them. This is because, in their sexually immature state, sperm and eggs are not yet produced in the gonads. However, when I removed the contents and made a cut, the cream-colored gonads were visible from the cut surface. Isn't that intriguing? Sometimes, the fact that oysters and other shellfish produce sperm surprises people, because they view them primarily as food, not living creatures. Every living organism reproduces in its own unique way. We will continue to explore the reproductive nests and breeding methods of various creatures. This concludes our video, Uncovering Mysterious Things with Science. This was Fishy Science.